See our kids in the crib trying to record what they got daddy doing. Killing the orange. <laughs> Struggle, Struggle buddies. buddies. How y'all doing out there? Hope everybody's having a marvelous day. Yes. We are back again. As usual, by the title, you can tell what this video is about. Today, we'll be talking top. about goal setting. Goal setting, people. Setting your goals That's for right. your weight loss journey. Yep. So, as usual, without further ado, let's get right into it. First part to setting your goal is is deciding after you have weighed yourself and you know what you weigh. Oh, you all right? Uh, the camera just bright and look right into it. <laughs> after you weighed yourself and you know what you weigh, first goal is how much do you want to lose? What is your goal weight? What is the goal you're going to set? Are you going to set it a goal for 30 days, 60 days, till your birthday, till the summer, till Christmas, whatever that goal is, figure that goal out, set that goal. Once you get that part, again, y'all know, looking down. Disclaimer, throw it in there. We're not dietitians. We're not health experts. We are simply an overweight married couple wanting to lose weight and get healthy and get it right. That's all. All right. <laughs> After you have set that goal, the next thing you want to do is spell out your goal. What are your specific goals? Is it just your weight? Is it things health-wise that you also want to achieve? Like, say, if you're diabetic or anything like that, do you want after, say, within the next 90 days, I want to try to get off one of my medicines or something like that. Set that goal as well. If you have measurement goals, I want to lose. If you're at a 42 and you want to drop down Ooh, to a 38. Just cut me off. <laughs> if you're at a 42... And you want to drop down to 30, your ideal pan size is you're tired of paying too much for pants. You want to drop down to maybe a 39 if you're yeah. a 42. That is weight. That is one goal for you to set. Yes. Pardon the noise. We got yeah, people we got, moving upstairs. Yeah. Hectic. <laughs> or as a woman, if you want to lose inches, say you want to lose inches off your bust or inches off your waist or even if you want to tighten your butt, any of those things, set those goals. Have a list for what it is that you want to do so you know exactly what you're working towards. Exactly. Next thing, you should be able to check your progress. This goes back to our charting. Simple, nothing big, but whatever goals you have set, write them down. Yeah. Write down your goals and whatever you accomplish, write that down. That way you have something to go back and look on to see, okay, I accomplished that. Okay, I'm keeping up on doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've kind of been slacking on that. You know, that'll help you see where you're doing good at, where you're falling off, where you need to pick up, or if you're just doing awesome. And sidebar, don't go full throttle on your, on your chart. Mm -hmm. Be realistic with yourself. Baby yes. steps. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now back Always. to what you're saying. Always. No, that was it. Next thing would be... um have ways that you can adjust your goal to keep you on track. A plan B. If plan yes. A don't work out. Exactly. So say if you say, okay, I'm going to go hardcore. I'm about to start working out five days a week. 30 minutes, five days a week. I'm going in. Just in case you get into that and then five days ain't working, they worrying your butt out and you just ain't ready, have a backup plan that says, okay, if I get into those five days and it's a little too much for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock it down to three days Maybe a two week. or three days. Yeah. That's how you do that. Or if you're one to say, all I got is one day a week in me right now. I can eat 30 minutes one day out the week. Have a backup plan that says, if I start doing that 30 days, I mean 30 days, 30 minutes one day out the week, and I feel like I can throw in another one, mm -hmm. I'll move it up to two days. Yes. So you have that. So if you set a high goal and you're not, con you're not getting there, then you have something to come back on. That way it keeps you encouraged and you don't feel like you're failing or you're not doing good. You still are encouraged still on because track. you're on track and you had a backup plan for that. Yep. Or if you set it too low and you could do more, then that's even more encouraging. Okay, I thought just once. I could do two times a week. Yep. That's how you help. That keep, that'll keep you on track and it'll keep you progressing. Keep, Next. Keep you motivated. Next is... Your goals that you set should be something that you can achieve, achieve with, what was I going to say, with the resources that you have. Yes. So, for example, 
don't say I'm finna go to the gym and work at five days a week and you don't have a gym membership. And we all know. Or you don't have a gym that you could go to because some people have them in their complex. Or you're relying on your friend that got that membership. Yes. We know people's lives are busy and things may tend to change Mm -hmm. up. So just be realistic. Be realistic. If you're in a complex and you don't have a gym, I walk your, I'm going to walk my complex. If you're close to trails, I'm going to walk the trail or run the trail or draw the trail. Or if you're one that you're not really one that's ready to get outdoors and I'm not as mobile to get out, move around, and you feel more comfortable in your home, okay, I'm going to start working out in my living room. Home I'm going to use what I have at home or you can order some things, which we'll get into in a whole other video, but you can order yes. things at home to have at home to help you work out. So whatever you have at the moment or what will work best for you, Excuse me. That's what you go with. That is what's going to also keep you on track, keep you motivated, and keep you successful on your weight loss journey. That's right, people. Next thing would be, oh, set a realistic, did we talk about the realistic times for exercise? No, we did not. Okay, they say two and a half hours a week, which breaks down to 30 hours. 30 minutes. 30 hours. 30 hours. <laughs> 30 minutes, 30 minutes a, day. <laughs> a day for five days a week. That's not people realistic are, for yes. us. <laughs> people are, like I said, people are busy. People have lives. People have kids. Busy. People have jobs. You know. And we're so. not saying because you have all that you can do it. Yeah. Because you can. Yeah. We're just saying be, a risk, be realistic with what you're able to do at the moment. And then you can up it as you, know, as you get as better time goes. and time goes. So. Don't focus on certain times or how long, how people say you should exercise or how long. Do what you can do. If you got to start out and you like, all I got is 10, 15 minutes a day, hey, that's 10, 15 minutes that you weren't doing at first. And try to make that 10, 15 minutes more like of a, uh, how can we put that? Like, if you only got 10, 15 minutes, kind of go a little hard Hard. on it. Yeah, you know, kind of bump up the cardio. Yeah, really break break a sweat. sweat. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. so. you'll see as you're doing it, it you'll progress. You'll yeah. progress. Okay. Uh, last but not least, this last one. Yep. Yeah. No, we went quick with this one. Last but not least, you should decide exactly what you'll need, exactly what activities you will need to achieve your goal. Meaning, activities if, to do. Yeah, the activities you want to do to that you, ah, I can't get it out. All of my words. <laughs> the activities that you need to do to achieve your goal. So if you say, I want a tighter butt. Okay, well, look for activities or exercises you can do that will squats, fo- focus yeah. on your glutes. glutes. If you say, I need to get rid of this stomach, focus on activities that will focus on yeah. your abs or uh, the arms. Same thing, you know, for any type of your body, your arms, your legs, whatever the case may be, you focus on activities that will focus on those things. And don't overdo it. Don't say, okay, well, I need to get rid of this stomach. I need to get my butt in order. I got rolls on my back, so I need to do like 17 activities. No. Pick days. Mm -hmm. One day I'm going to work on my butt. One day I'm going to work on my ass. One day I'm going to work on my arms and my legs. That's how you do it so that you don't feel like you're overloading Mm -hmm. yourself. And because that can be stressful. Baby that steps. can be discouraging. Take baby steps. <laughs> yes. yeah. baby Always. Steps. Y'all hear him say that a lot. Baby steps. Because we're, we're very big on baby steps. We don't overload ourselves with stuff. We don't know. We One step at a time. Yeah, like we said, we've step. been through this. We've been through step. this. We, yeah, we've been through this journey. Yes. And Multiple times. Trials and trials. And yes. We have, so we have a lot of trials and errors. Yeah, we trials and errors. Baby. We have failed. We have learned. Yes. <laughs> through a lot. So, that's why you're here saying baby steps, baby steps. But, yeah, just whatever it is that you want to focus on, break it down. Don't think you have to do it all at once. You don't. If you say for the first month, I just want, I just need to get the stomach off. Hey, that's all you focus on. Yep. Then once I get the stomach down, after that, I'll start trying to tighten the tone. Hey, whatever works for you. Make, make it best for you. Yes. That's, that's for you. That's it. And I think that's all we got. That people. is... Yeah, we, we hit it. ours quick. We're not that that was very simple. That's that's the simplest thing of setting your goals. So to go over it, set how much you want to lose. Make sure you got the time limit of how long you want to lose it. What the time limit is on losing it. Um, make sure your goal is specific to what you're trying to achieve and accomplish. Be yeah. able to track your progress so you can keep track of your goals. If you're doing good, doing bad, whatever you to fix or work on, 
whatever that may be. Is it make sure you have backup ways of ways you can adjust your goals. If you went too hard on yourself or too easy on yourself, make sure you have a backup adjustment for that to keep you encouraged. Make sure you have resources for the goal that you are choosing and make sure that you do the correct activities for those goals. And you'll be you'll be good. And you'll uh, be good. Sidebar before we leave guys, we, we're trying to keep this at a, a minimal video at a minimal. So the chart situation, I told wifey that it'll be best we keep both our charts at the refrigerator. Yes. You know, refrigerator because it's the main place everyone goes. So Very true. When you go there, it's in your face. So you have no excuses <laughs> for saying I forgot. It's mm, right there. Right there. But anyway, people, we're going to go ahead and end this video. Like. Like, comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. Become, become a struggle, a struggle buddy. buddy. Let's struggle together. And we're going to get this weight off of us, y'all. We love y'all. We're going to do it. Y'all going to do, do it. Y'all going to do it. We love y'all. We're going to do it together. And we'll see y'all in our next, next video. video. Well, I'll yeah. let